Well, the 4th of July is tomorrow, and usually this time of year, cities across the Hoosier State would be preparing for festivals, parades, and fireworks shows, but the coronavirus has forced many to cancel those. So many things are different now. The good news, though, not all is lost, and there are still ways you can celebrate this year. For that, we turn to CBS4 Charlene Cristobal. She's joining us live now. Charlene, what are you doing out there? Oh, well, we've got a surprise for you guys a little later, but we want to talk about those festivals and those shows that are still going on for the 4th of July, despite the pandemic. So a lot of officials in some cities, they're going to still hold their shows, but just making sure that people can stay safe. So they've really worked plans around that. So some are having designated viewing areas. Some are just streaming it live on social media and others are just having to make sure that people can social distance in those viewing areas. So first up in Greenfield, they're going to launch their fireworks at dusk on the 4th from Greenfield Junior High School. School. You can't watch there, so they recommend you find finding a place in the city. Carmel will be doing Carmel Fest. Only the fireworks, though, starting at 945. They'll be lighting from three different places, so you can watch in your homes or from Chase Court, Badger Field, or West Park. Now, we mentioned a lot of places. They will not be having any 4th of July events, not even fireworks. So we've seen a lot of people buy their own and light them off themselves. Firework sales are up in some places, too. But that also means that there is a big concern for safety. For that, Mike Pruitt joins us now, as he does every year, to talk more about that. So you have an array of really what people would be buying this time yes, of year. Yes, these are the commercial fireworks that people are going to walk into the store and buy. So when we start planning for shooting off fireworks we make sure we get a nice open area like we have right here out in an open parking lot there's not dry grass around i got my bucket of water to discard uh, fireworks in after they've been used especially sparklers because these sparklers can get up over 1200 degrees cause serious burns even after the fact because people throw them on the ground so using bamboo sparklers probably a little bit safer do not point fireworks <laughs> at each other um, this is roman candle people like to shoot them at each other and it's extremely dangerous to do that same deal with bottle rockets um, any projectile like that is going to cause serious injury we were talking about <laughs> the sabers first thing that yeah. we're tempted to do with these is have a sword fight well that's what they're not they're not designed for that they're going to shoot uh, uh, flaming sparks at the end of it can be really dangerous so biggest injuries come from hands because people try to hold on to these fireworks so let's move over to the big boys the mortars yeah. the people that mm -hmm. get excited about when we're using these mortar rounds, making sure you're on a substantial piece of uh, foundation. I built this uh, block system here to keep these from tipping over. And when you put these mortars in, use them with the tube they came in. Make sure you read this end up because if you put this mortar in wrong, it's going to cause this mortar tube to explode and somebody's going to get that hurt is, here yeah. close on the ground. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move over to now the watermelon, right. which is a very solid piece of fruit. But I'm just going to show you if this was a human body part, what could potentially happen? This is a professional doing this, so. All right. You're waiting. Still burning, still it's burning. It's a slow burn, it's a slow burn, but. Still burning. <laughs> Yeah, this is the anticipation of this exploding here. You can see that we sort of we've done this, this one. This before. is a very good uh, situation here where we see that smoldering uh, firework going off in there. We would not want to approach this. So this is a good excuse for a dud right here. I, and I would not want to approach this watermelon. So <laughs> it didn't go off. So this everybody can enjoy a perfectly intact watermelon today, uh, oh courtesy of me. So how long, okay, since this is a dud, how long would we wait until we approach this? So I would hit that with a garden hose from a distance okay. is what I would do. Uh, okay. That's that's the next step we would take, make sure nobody goes around that, because that thing could sit in there and smolder for quite some time before it goes off. So it's a good chance maybe the watermelon juices uh, got into that fuse. So we've had this happen before in the past. Yeah. This is not shocking information, uh, but this is a good example of why we wouldn't want to go back over there put our face on top of this and it go off. Right, there you go, and you're hearing it from the professionals today. So we didn't give you guys an explosion today, but this is a good example of just what you need to do to stay safe on the 4th of July if you are planning on doing your own firework show, which we know a lot of people are doing this year. So if you want a full list of events, also some safety tips, you can go to our website, cbs4indy.com. I'll send it back to you. Okay, I know 